Sony, where they've launched, uh, they've announced their new redesign of the PS5. It's got a slimmed down look versus the previous iteration just in time for the holidays. Isaiah, your thoughts. I'm a PlayStation guy. Mm -hmm. It says this one is 30% smaller. But they Wish also... Wish I was 30% smaller. I know, right? They also jacked up the price a bit. Oof, of course they did. How much is 30% smaller worth to you? Yeah. This is the real question because it's the same. Nothing else is new. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's all just how the look. And it looks, it looks sleek. It looks good. So how much is... How much more are we talking? Oh, I see it here. 50 more bucks. 50 more bucks for it to be 30% smaller. And people like small things. They do. This is wild. I'm looking at them side by side. This is crazy. Uh-huh. The only thing that's different is the new one. Uh-huh. So it's got that like kind of like a, a V look to it. Yeah. It's got a little V look to it. It looks like a like a like a futuristic skyscraper. Yes, it does. It's got a nice little V. And on the old one, considering the new the PS5 old, which yeah. is brand spanking new, but it has where you would put in the disc on the right side of it. Yeah. So there's the V and then like a little outage, a little out uh -huh. where you can slide that in there. It just Essentially, this one just took that off. So now it's just a full V. So you can get it either or with the dry, with the disc thing or without. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's cool. If I didn't have a PS5, I guess I'd probably go with it. Well, I don't have a PS5. If I was in the market, I'd go with this one over the previous version, because why would you not get the newest one, right? Or would I? Because then I could save some money uh, by getting the older version, which functions the same and just is a little uh, superficially pleasing. Mm -hmm. um, and I've, I've been a gamer for a long time. One thing I've come to realize is it doesn't matter what the game system looks like. If you're not like proudly displaying it everybody no. has one yeah it's probably in like a you, you keep it in a cabinet or something like you you have that like in your living room it's like behind that, that your the flex? tv yeah right like you you bring a date back to your place and you're like yeah i don't know if you saw or not but uh -huh. the new ps5 that doing anything for you yeah and it's is that I impressing mean, you i know this is like 30 percent smaller but it's not like it's gonna save a bunch of shelf space or something no. for, for what your books what do you what are you using that shelf space for? And that's your controller. Yeah, of course. Obviously. Of course. I mean, you can't fault Sony for coming out, for improving it, but at the same time, I'm not going to get excited about it. No, not me either. If I was going to get a PlayStation, which I want a PlayStation 5, sounds like a fun thing to have. Yeah. I have a PS4 that I don't play anymore, really. Uh -huh. If I had the PS5, it'd probably go to waste. It is... In the U.S., five hundred dollars. If you want the one that you can actually put the disc into, if you want the all digital edition, which is cool that they offer this. Yeah, it's four hundred and fifty dollars because majority of people now just buy the games. Yeah, who needs the disc drive? Yeah, you don't need the disc, disc drive. You can just buy them digitally. So four fifty, but that still is a a thick price there. For yeah, a, for a thirty percent smaller, that's a thick price. Yeah. If you like that video, there's a ton more. Go check out our past videos and subscribe so you don't miss what we do next.